In this video, I'm gonna be talking about money. Yes, money. It's very important. It helps us to be able to afford things. More specifically, talking about how much should you expect to earn as an entry-level data scientist or a senior data scientist or other titles such as data science lead, data science manager in Amsterdam slash the Netherlands. How I am going to be doing it is going to be based on online research or so platforms such as like Glassdoor and also just my experience trying to find a job in this market and interviewing for various companies, more specifically multinational companies in Amsterdam, Netherlands. So let's get started. So first, let's see what does the internet say about how much a data scientist makes on average in Amsterdam. Let's have a look. So if I go to Google and search data science salaries in the Netherlands and I go to Glassdoor, the first thing I see is 65,000 euros per year. And the Americans are probably laughing at us and thinking, what the fuck? Okay. We don't use that language on this channel, but seriously, um, this is the average for entry level data scientists. And if you see here, it says that it's 60,000 euros best base pay. So that's like your base salary, not including the bonuses and the equities that can really make a difference. And it adds like the 5,000 additional pay. That is like the bonus. Um, this here is like the range for this entry level data scientist position ranging between 41,000 to 110,000. And that's really because other companies um, entry level data science positions are not really entry level. So the definition here is also quite blurred. When we look on the side here, it breaks down like senior data scientist, um, data scientist and data science lead. What's interesting is that the data science, senior data science salaries reported are higher than lead data scientists, but I think this is more just a data point um, issue in the sense that there's not a lot of people with lead data science titles, so there's just not enough data. And there is also like an overlap between these two titles, seniority titles when it comes to data scientists overall in the industry. Um, let's write senior data scientists here and see what happens. So senior data scientists earn about 90,000 euros. So it ranges between, let's round this off to between 60 and 135. Okay, that seems quite above average um, from what I found out when I went to the market. So these numbers seem a little bit higher but I am assuming you are getting more people from companies like Booking and Uber actually capturing these figures, probably not getting um, a lot of data from the smaller companies, because if you do go down, um, it says that 17 salaries from this location and booking.com is pretty much like the highest paying, well, one of the higher paying companies when it comes to data science jobs here in the Netherlands. And the lower end companies that are more like the Dutch companies, companies that are really only operating in this market are not really listing that much. So here's another one, Philips, that's an international company with a high range and they are like three people salaries. Um, yeah, the data points here are just not a lot. So it's really skewed towards like um, booking.com which is really not reflective of the market I really don't think on average senior data scientists in the Netherlands are earning about 93,000 euros I think it is more likely that they are in um, yeah I think it's 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 more likely in this range um, the range of AB and Emma What's also missing is information from Amazon, Meta, Atlassian, um, other companies that just recently entered the market that are really offering large compensation packages that can range up to 200K. So the range itself as well for total compensation 
for senior data scientists is also a bit too narrow. I would say that based on my market research, the range should be between 60K and 200 for total compensation. So the range itself is not really accurate and the average itself is also not accurate. So this data, I guess, should mostly just be used as a guideline. Um, and I think it'll probably be more useful checking at individual companies than it is useful checking at just the overall itself. Um, let's see what it says about lead data scientist. Something that's interesting, so I've clicked lead data scientist and it's, it doesn't really seem too different from senior data scientist. It just seems like the average is a little bit on the low end because it's just not a lot of data points. You can see like AB and AMRO's lead data scientist title seems to be more significant, but that's also just one person reporting salary. These look high as well as they look very low. <laughs> So th th there's, there's really not a lot of data to go by here. Like seriously, there's not a lot of data to go by online. Um, let's see, like, especially look on, especially now, like if we go back to look at the total pay tra trajectories, there's no data for principal data scientists. There's no data for senior principal data scientists. I've, it's the first time I'm also hearing of senior principal data scientists. Um, I'm sure there's no data for data science manager either, but let's see. So data science manager does have some data. Interesting. Um, how much also from booking.com, um, Unilever. So there is some data, but this looks funny because like we saw the senior data science position saying 70,000, the lead data science position saying 100,000, and now you get to data science manager saying 60,000. Confusion in my head right now. Yeah, so it's not really normalized to the year to date as well, I guess. So that's why maybe some of the numbers are looking smaller and some are looking extremely large. So this is not really great to go by. Um, the salary range, 70K, 78K to 159. Here, I also disagree with the high end. I, I think like the high end could pretty much be about 300 um, here, um, depending on company. There's no data from Amazon or Meta um, or Google um, or Atlassian. So yeah, good guideline, but not very accurate. And just out of interest sake, let's see how much a data analyst earns in Amsterdam, Netherlands. And we can see here that it's not too far off from data scientists, even the range is not too far off. But if we scroll down, we see that the data is also skewed towards booking.com, which is again, a company that is like paying much more than the average company here in the Netherlands and there are like 64 salaries reported here. Um, ING seems to also have a lot of data analysts earning quite well. And the AB and AMRO data analysts earns quite well, but we saw that their data science salaries was also much higher than this on average. Um, I think like the gap between data analyst and data scientist is actually much higher than what is being reflected here because we are obviously getting a lot of data from booking.com and yeah, that doesn't really help much with formulating whether like data science is significantly superior to data analyst. You get what I'm trying to say though, right? <laughs> but in summary, data analyst is still a very good career here in the Netherlands and a high paying one as well good career projection as we can see like the senior data analyst is also around 82,000 euros which is really not bad at all not bad not too shabby for the data analyst like, probably why I even considered applying for some data analyst jobs in the next part of the video I am going to be going to more detail why is this salary range so high why do we have companies that are paying data scientists 40,000 euros and you get 
Others that are paying data scientists 100,000 euros as total compensation. I posted this TikTok a while back. I think it was somewhere in 2021 um, where I was talking about data science salaries in the Netherlands and I got comments from people working for companies like Uber and Booking.com saying that they are actually making way above the range that is being shown online. And they referred me to this article that is called The Trimodal Nature of Software Engineering Salaries, Salaries, which I find also applies to data science salaries, given that now I went to the job market and tried to look for a new job and so that I could earn so much more than what I thought. So hope this can also help you guys to kind of understand how much more you can earn, the earning potential that you can have if you decide to just focus on applying or interviewing for certain companies. So I think that it's time to make this video a little bit more interesting and less of university lecture style type video. So let's go on a mini adventure. <laughs> If you ever wondered if there was a New York in Amsterdam, this is pretty much it. Um, not as busy though and not as many skyscrapers, but it's as good as it gets. So this place is actually known as South S, but it's pretty much the business center of Amsterdam. You find major companies like Google, Uber um, based here. You also get the big banks of the Netherlands like ING and ABN Amro and the big consulting companies like Essentia, Deloitte, Ernest & Young, of course they are here and then you also get, um, what's that other one, McKinsey, yes, so they are all based in this district, um, I might not be doing it as much justice as I can, it's pretty hard to capture all the buildings, a little bit more sparse, um, but this is essentially it. You also get manufacturing companies like Tesla, Philip and Morris, um, also based here. I think JP Morgan and Chase is also around. And yeah, if you are a company that's anybody, you'll probably be in this prime location. So now I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and I'm gonna treat myself to a strip waffle, which is a Dutch treat, very sugary, sweet because it's made out of caramel and other stuff that are not supposed to be good for you but we eat it anyways because life's too short very soon i will be working in this district um maybe i am already working in this district um from the release of this video so guys i really hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have anything extra to add leave that in the comments make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button